What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Way to Walk Through. Okay, so it's been a week. My bad. I mean, had a lot of work done. But I'm very sorry. Anywho, here we are in the Flossessi Ranch, I think? Probably? I don't even know. It's the Flossessi Ranch. It's a, it's, a, it's a ranch filled with a lot of Pokemon, and believe it or not, yes, we are going to be capturing some Pokemon. And would you look at that, our rival Q is looking up and he said that he's uh, gotten a little stronger than I have, so let's go right ahead and figure this one out right now. So here we go guys, another battle against our rival Q, and uh, well, he has one Pokemon right now, only one, and that's uh, Tepic right here. So it looks like to me that yeah, he's gotten just a little bit stronger. Me, I'm just a little bit stronger. Now, we do have a bit of an advantage, and that is that it's raining, so his fire-type attacks won't be as effective as it would be if it's a sunny day or anything like that. Now, as you can see, yeah, I'm, I'm getting my butt kicked right now because, uh, well, yeah, I haven't healed my Pokemon yet. Kind of bugs me just a little bit, just a tad bit, but here we go. Always stock up on potions, and, uh, well, there we go. We miss out on an attack, or we miss out on something. So here we go, attack will attack, and, uh... Well, we're gonna, yeah, it's, it's just a back and forth right here. Tackle attack, tackle attack. Who knows? Who knows what will happen right here? So here we go again, another, uh... Well, he's trying to lower my defenses right here, so I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be doing another tackle attack, because that's that's usually the fun thing to do right there. So look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. We're getting our butts kicked right now. Never mind. Here we go! Tackle attack again, and that is for the win. And yes, we are victorious. We are stronger, we are mightier, and look at that, Basilisk grows to level 10 and learns rap, so that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty legit right there, so, let's see, yeah, he's gonna be talking to me about uh, a little bit of backup, and yes, we do hand him over the, uh, the town map that his sister once gave us, so now, here we have the owners of the ranch, and well, they're gonna be asking, uh, well, what's going on right here, having a Pokemon battle around here, and, well, and you are? Oh, yeah, so we are, uh... The owners, oh, so the wife, yes, they are the owners of these ranches right here, so they're going to be healing us up pretty uh, pretty well right there, look at that, okay, so we got ourselves a potion, and, uh, well, let's see, what else, well, he's going to, they're, gonna, they're just going to be talking about some other stuff right here, and one for you, of course, he's going to give you one, because, yeah, he may be all rival, but he's still a hero in the story too, I think, maybe, probably, I don't even know, maybe. I don't know, so yes, Pokemon lost forever, and Hugh is just going after it. Yeah, he's so mad. Why is he so mad, homie? I don't know. So, we're gonna have to help him out, because apparently T... There's something going on around here, and well, there's a herd you're missing, and well, there we have a Mareep. Now, this place is uh, very, very famous for a lot of Pokemon, especially some Pokemon training. Um, when I first played this game back in... I don't know how long when it first came out, I think. Yeah, when it first came out, yeah. I immediately jumped on the whole bandwagon of getting all these Pokemon that are pretty rare in Pokemon, uh, in other games like Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, uh, shoot, Platinum version. And uh, trust me guys, uh, that mistake won't happen again because yes, I have a, I'm, I'm planning on a nice team right here. Team that actually, well for me it actually works right here. I don't know how many times I wanna want to actually like you know rotate Pokemon and all that stuff but we'll find some way and well as you can see so waddle waddles still yeah yeah so waddle is still just you know living its life because it's both yeah it's both a grass and bug type Pokemon right here and well there we go yes we are getting wrapped no actually we're just getting uh you know that whole uh what was it called again uh the, the, the string thingy yes the string thingy Okay, so let's go right ahead and just make him faint, and well, let's see what's going on right there. Yes, it's pretty admirable, and well, let's go right ahead and move on to the next right, uh, next thing right here. Now, there are some Pokemon right here that you can find, like Mareep. Look at that. They're all around. Those Mareep you can't catch, but still, you can capture some Mareep. Hell, Riolu. You can find Riolu around here. Heck, look at that. Azuro. Yes, so you guys can actually like, you know, fix up your team to what it can be, you know, it, 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 you can basically have a full team of six right here if you wanted to, and, uh, well, let's see, well, the splash attack won't do anything right here, but, you know, off screen I will be capturing some of these Pokemon right here, I don't even know. Probably, I probably will be capturing a lot of Pokemon right now, 
And, well, let's see. Zuril has fainted. And we're going to get some more experience points. Because, you know what? It's okay to, you know, to get experience points. So, let's see. We're just going to be running around these, uh, Mareep. And, yes, we're going to get attacked by more Pokemon right now. Because, well, why not? And, well, here you have another Zuril. Not bad of a Pokemon or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Should I battle it? Probably. Nah, it's gonna be it's just gonna be a waste of time right there. So let's see. Hmm. We have to find a herdier that's missing. And there is a Pokeball right there. I just needed to see where it was at. And well, let's see. Where okay, so we're gonna be risking a battle. Either or, but you know, look at that. We got ourselves a Pokeball, which is always nice. And then uh well, let's see, what else do we have to do? Well, let's go right ahead and Use a potion because, well, we only have one Pokemon right now. And I did say we're going to try and capture a Pokemon. Maybe two. I don't know. Kind of feels like maybe we're going to capture one or two Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go further into the Flossessi Ranch. And Hugh is looking at it. He's like, did you hear the uh, herd you're wandering around here? Let's have a look. Obviously, I'm the dude that's doing all the work. This guy is just, you know, taking his nice sweet time. You know, living off my coattails and all that stuff. So here we go, going up against another Pokemon trainer right here. I wonder who he is. Ah, it's a janitor. Named Orville. Orville Rittenbacher. Or, yeah, I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Shoot. You know, Orville Rittenbacher? I don't even know. Okay, so, yes, the rain does have its effect. It's not going to have a... Yeah, it's not going to do... It's not, it's not going to do much uh, for Basilisk right here, but, you know, in the sunlight, that would be great. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Another Leer attack, and, uh, yeah. Not much of a, yeah. Definitely not much of a, of something right there, but here we go again. Going with, uh, getting our butts kicked right now. I'm not even looking at the screen right now. <laughs> okay, so here's a Leer attack. And that Leer actually does something right there. Okay, so it's lowering our defenses. But guess what? We're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing a little bit of that. And look at that. Okay, alrighty. So we have defeated you. And we get ourselves to level 11, which is great. And here comes Mareep. Now, that is a little bit, um, a little bit dangerous if this Mareep does have, you know, like any electric attacks. Because, yeah, water, electric, yeah, not the best word. Uh... Maybe, just maybe it has static. And yes, it does have static. And look at that. We are paralyzed. Sucks. Oh my god. Okay. And well, there we go. Alrighty. Okay, so let us move on. Before that, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. We have to. It's a must. We, uh, yeah. It, it's a must. And well, here we go. Basilisk is all ready. And well, let's go right ahead and move on right here. And, well, yes, he's going to get, wow, okay, so he gives us a, per, a paralysis heal after we, yeah, oh, gravy. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and just move on right here. There's going to be some more trainers right here, guys, so just make sure if you want to capture Pokemon, go ahead and capture it. And, yes, we do hear a herd here, and, yes, this guy's, like, looking around. He's checking the area. we got to go deeper into these woods or farm area or whatever they're called, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy, and, yes, Telling us that he is not stronger than us. Okay, okay. Or he, we're not stronger than him. I don't know. So here we go, another Pokemon battle. And it's against a Pat Rat. Alrighty. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and, uh, you know what? Let's go with a Tackle Attack. Tackle Attack will actually work. And just like that. Oh my god, we're getting our butts kicked again. Not really. And uh, let's go. Let's go. Yes, critical hit does that. Okay. Alrighty, okay. And well, let's see. He's coming out with a Psyduck, and this guy has a Cloud Nine, so basically all the weather effects has gone away. That could be useful for any Pokemon that like likes to use any kind of uh, weather based moves or you know advantages and all that stuff. And just like that, we have defeated this kid right here. Yes. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. What is next? I'm looking around. Here we found ourselves an X attack, which is great. And, uh, well, let's see. We're going to be looking around and nothing much. Well, we're not finding anything. So it is kind of like a maze. Maybe like 
the Vermilion Forest and all that stuff. And, well, there's Hugh. And there's another Pokeball right there. So let's go ahead and grab it. And, yes, before we even do that, yes, we're going to get attacked by Lillipup. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You should... You know, Draven is probably going to get Lillipup. No, not really. I will capture it off-screen, though. I am probably thinking of building back my old team, even though I shouldn't. I mean, there is an option right here where you can get your old team back. It's just, uh, do not... I gotta, I gotta look into it just a little bit further right here. So, let's see. Uh, we gotta... Oh, yeah, we gotta jump all the way back. I don't know why I did that. Well, probably because I wanted to get the item and all that. So, here we go. And... Let's see, let's go right where Hugh is at, where Hugh is at, the problem's at, and well, we're gonna get attacked by another Pokemon right here. And well, look at that, there is a Mareep waiting for us right here now. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Now, if I could capture him, I would capture him, but then again, it's too obvious, guys. A lot of people want me to capture Mareep, even though I already have it in another version, but here is another Pokemon that... Whoa, well, has got my attention just a tad bit. Just a little bit. A little bit, just a tad bit. So here we have Psyduck at level 5. Now, we're going to Vine Whip this thing, guys. We're going to Vine uh, vi vi Whip him. And it is at 1 HP, or maybe 2. I don't know. But this is looking very, very interesting. So what I'm going to do is, yes, I am going to throw a Pokeball at it because I did say I was going to capture a new Pokemon. I might as well start off with Psyduck right here. Now, Psyduck might not be the most popular choice, but to me, it seems a little bit... It, it, it seems like the perfect Pokemon for my team for right now. So as you can see, Psyduck, the duck Pokemon. Pretty good Pokemon. And yes, we are going to nickname this guy. I'm just trying to figure out what did I nickname this guy. Now, I can't nickname it Quackor right here because, well, let's see. I already have a Quackor. Quackor the Foul. You know that... That, that, that uh, Farfetch and all that crud? Yes, I already had Farfetch as Quack or the Foul. So what is a very, very good name for a Psyduck that may or may not be part of my team for, like, a small amount of time? Well, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you what. It's a pretty lame nickname. It is okay, but it's kind of, it kind of, it kind of makes, it kind of makes sense right here since this Pokemon will be learning some Psychic-type moves. Yes, say hello to Mindduck. And let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of Pokemon this guy is. So, Psyduck right here, or Mineduck, it is a Water-type Pokemon, and it does have three moves right now. Scratch, Water Sport, Tail Whip, and it does have Damp. And, uh, well, let's see, yes, it can prevent any kind of uh, self-destructing moves. Yes, that is a Pokemon that I will be using in the online team for just a little bit. I don't know how long, oh, maybe more episodes, I don't know. Psyduck's always interested me in a way because, well, it can learn psychic type moves. I, I was planning on using it in my Pokemon Leaf Green Walker, but yeah, it never really happened. So, here we have the Herdier, and well, the man with the vendetta is coming over. And yes, this guy's talking about the uh, Team Plasma. Talking about them about two years ago, but they're gone. They have disbanded, but fool will never, uh, fools will never understand us. Still, first I got to chase this Herdier, and his noisy kick caught me. Your fault, so take this. And he threw, he, he, yeah, he throws the TM21 frustration, which could be used for, you know, barely caught Pokemon, you know, that kind of stuff. And well, yes, he's going to retreat right now. He's going to be uh, running away. And yes, we have found the Herdier, the long lost Herdier, and he is happy to see us. He's like, what? Pope? And well, Hugh. Yeah, he, he goes in, and he finds the owner and all that stuff. And, well, what made you go all the way back here? And, yes, uh, grateful for you, too. And what is our reward when we help this guy? And he's, like, off the come about this. Yes, he's gone for good. Might have been gone for good. So take better take care of it. Yeah, Hugh, Hugh's got some, some stuff going on. He's got some stuff brewing in there. Like, he has something hidden. He's not too happy. And, well, he's the owner's like, well, I wonder what if something's happened to him. Yeah, he really does take losing Pokemon personally and all that stuff. Okay, so that is that right there, guys. Now, I did mention that you can capture some different Pokemon in here. Lillipup. I believe Pidup is uh, another Pokemon, another option. Hell, Riolu is a Pokemon. As you can see, we got Mineduck. Now, my biggest issue right now is that Mineduck doesn't have a Water-type move. This, pr this place right here would have been perfect for it to just, like, attack. 
you know, just to wreck people. I don't know, just do stuff, since it is a water-type Pokemon, but, yeah, that's not really gonna happen. What I'm doing right now is just, I'm just training the Pokemon up, seeing what it can do, maybe getting it to uh, another level, or maybe learning some water-type moves, but that's never, that's usually never the case right here with, uh, with Pokemon such as uh, Psyduck and all that, so, here we go, scratch deck for the win, Lillipup has been defeated, and, well, look at that, Mind Duck gained some more points right there, okay. Now, I'm going to be using... I'm probably going to be using some shortcuts. Not really. Look at that. I'm... Honestly, I'm probably doing this on purpose just to find the Pokemon that I need. Believe it or not, it, yeah, my duck's not the only Pokemon that I want to capture in this area. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out. Uh, at this point, I'm just switch training. You know, I kind of want my Pokemon to be strong, ready for the next challenge and all that stuff. In this place, like I said, guys, you can probably have a team of five if you wanted to. And, well, let's go straight for a Vine Whip since we've been using it, like, non-stop. And, well, Leer's, yeah, hitting us pretty good. And there goes our defenses. So let's go one more time with another, well, let's go with the tackle attack right here. And uh, Pat Rat is not giving up too easily. This is starting to become like the Wilder Fury fight here. And well, let's go ahead and go with Tackle Attack for the win. Say goodbye. Alrighty. And just like that, we get to level 12, Basilisk. And well, I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, guys, I'm probably doing this on purpose just to get the next Pokemon. And, so far, I have not found any of the Pokemon that I want to capture, except for Psyduck. The Psyduck or something like that. I don't know. And, uh, well, yes, this Psyduck right here has uh, Cloud 9. I'm going to take that away because, uh, well, yeah, don't really need it right now. So, hmm. You know what I'm thinking, guys? I'm probably going to wait until the next episode because I don't think I'm going to find the Pokemon right here. So, here we have a Lillipup. The rumors are not true. I am not going to recapture this Lillipup. I don't know. Where am I? I don't know. We will find out. But as of right now, as you guys are seeing, I'm just training the Pokemon. Whatever. I don't have a lot to say right now because, well, you know, this is just a very, very basic episode of the Flossessi Ranch. And Lillipup is just being a you-know-what to me. So let's go straight for a Vine Whip. And that nearly destroys him. So let's see, here we go again, and an attack is attack. You gotta love the beginnings, guys. Basic attacks, not so powerful just yet, but then there goes Lillipop, has been defeated, yeah, buddy, alrighty. And Mind Duck grows to level 6. And, uh, well, then that's pretty much it right there. Okay, so, you know what? We're gonna save it for the next episode, guys. I am going to capture another Pokemon in this ranch. It's just, I'm gonna, it's gonna take time for me to find them. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and beat another Mind Duck or something. You know what? We're probably just gonna escape this guy right here. Again, post comms. You gotta love post comms, guys. And it's starting to raining. This guy has Cloud 9. Maybe I should have captured the Pokemon with Cloud 9. I don't know. Probably. Well, we'll figure that out eventually. So, in the next episode, guys, it's. We're probably going to be capturing a new Pokemon here and there. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode as we probably capture another Pokemon. So I'll see you guys.